My name is Sorb. I'm the founder and CEO of Vartani, AI-powered consumer insight for the food industry. Yes, that's me. As many of you in the audience, I come from the food industry. I spent last five years of my professional career at Fresenius, the market leader in enteral nutrition business in Germany. I was responsible for 30 products within ready-to-drink category. But let me tell you, being a category manager is a challenging job. For every sale, you compete with not only existing players in the market, but also new brands that are increasingly taking away the market share. Just in the last five years, top brands have lost up to 6% market share to smaller brands and private labels. And how are these brands able to gain the market share? By listening to consumers 24 7 in real time. They are digital native and consumer driven. So when we started looking for a solution, we were overwhelmed with a number of digital platforms claiming to give consumer insights by listening to social media. But none really worked out for us. Let me tell you why. When we track hashtag brand name, or even sometimes hashtag product name, it do not relate to product-specific consumer feedback. As an example, we tracked hashtag Frizubine. We got many results related to diabetes, geriatrics, and many other topics, but it was impossible to isolate for which product did the consumer gave the feedback for. And this becomes increasingly important for a brand which has hundreds of SKUs in multiple categories. Second, for few solutions in the market which is very close to being proc specific, do not have data in real time. It is updated once a month or even just once a quarter. Third, these enterprise solutions are so difficult to use that team need to spend months in training. I, with my team, looked at these problems and built a solution for the food brands, introducing to you Vartani. We provide brands with meaningful insights from conversations and reviews on individual products in real time. It is very easy to use. A brand manager just needs to select a category, add or remove a product. We then track conversations and reviews to build insights and unmet uh, consumer needs. Not only we do sentiment analysis, but also find reasons behind it. For example, we were tracking a product with, within ready to drink category. We saw a spike in negative sentiment for nutrient content. Hundreds of consumers were asking to reconfirm the amount of sodium, and many were writing negative reviews. We found that the reason was increased sodium because of the new formula that was launched in the market. So how do we do it? First, we aggregate data, which is product specific from online marketplaces like Amazon and Walmart, and also other channels where brands sell their product. We also monitor channels of communication where brands talk to their consumer like Google Assistant, Alexa, and bots on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, and even via QR code. After gathering the data, we run it through our patent pending AI model, which builds the insight in real time. It is trained on millions of conversations and reviews related to food products. We have already reached more than 98% accuracy on Amazon open data set. The market size for solution like ours is 3 billion euros, which is growing at a CAGR of 28%. This means by 2023, it will be 14 billion euros, of which 20% is within the food category, which is our primary target. We have a simple SaaS business model. A brand pays a monthly subscription fees of 2,500 euros per food category. This leads to an average lifetime value of 150,000 euros. Today, I'm excited to announce that we have just started our first pilot project with the world leading pasta maker, the Barilla Group. More and more consumers are health conscious, especially when it comes to carbohydrate. So together, we are looking into the ingredient and the nutrient content of specific pasta categories for Barilla. We are also in discussion with brands to launch projects in early 2019. Our plan for 2019 is to onboard five brands with three categories each, leading to an annual recurring revenue of 450,000. Target for 2020 is to onboard 15 brands with five categories each, which would lead to be over the 2 million in annual recurring revenue. But it doesn't end here. There's another major challenge that brand faces today. 
Just on Amazon US, brands have received more than 5 million reviews and questions from consumers. But only 90% of still remain to be followed up. They have been not answered, which means it's a potential loss of sales for brands. With our current technology, we can already automate up to 80% of these consumer feedback, allowing brands to increase sales while saving cost. And to do this, we are raising 300,000 euros, of which 44% is planned for marketing and sales, 34% for operation and API cost, and the rest 22% for product development. We have a strong team, with three of us having worked in healthcare and nutrition industry, myself and Susanna at Fresenius. Fresenius Susanna has over 20 years of work experience leading the marketing team for Entral Nutrition Business. Rafael has led product development within infant and maternity category at Nestle. Bhanu Kishore is our AI expert. He worked at Cognizant as machine learning engineer developing deep learning models. And Adil, he's a serial entrepreneur with successful exit in AI and education space. To compete with the digital native brands, you need a consumer insight solution, which is product specific, real time, and easy to use. We have the solution, which is powered by AI, with more than 98% accuracy and can even automate responses. To know more how Vartani can enable your brand to stay on top of the category, come talk to us at our booth. Thank you. <laughs>